Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Richard. Uh, if you need to communicate with me, either email me or uh, comments at the bottom. Let's talk about the CRF 300. Uh, interesting bike, 5,400 brand new. This is the 200 and 2023 model. It's a great little bike. It's a great bike, but there's a good reason why it's 5,400 pound and looks like a motocross bike. Uh, let's have a look in the wider picture. You can get this, I see so many of these up for sale, the 250 and the 300 uh, that have got very, very low mileage and very, very high asking price. Um, in fact in some cases it's more than five thousand four hundred pound so don't be don't be fooled by this you can go and get a brand new one for five thousand four hundred pound from your local Honda dealer um, it's a really strange bike people are obviously buying this bike and realizing that it's not the bike that they wanted or it doesn't satisfy their needs and there's a good reason for that you know it may not you know when you take it off-road at best it does 10 mile an hour um, even though it looks like a motocross bike. At best it does 10 mile an hour because the back end starts swinging out all over the place. So, you know, it's gonna take, it's gonna cost you a brand new set of forks on the front, new suspension on the rear, uh, new tires, a couple of other things, rises on the handlebars because it's not, the handlebars are too low. Total price, 1500 quid. So that's in effect a bike for 7,000 pound that you can confidently go off on the blue, uh, off the road and things like that um, and for seven thousand pound you can actually buy something that's more um, more appropriate for going off road and being on the road as well I mean at 70 mile an hour it's only doing 55 miles per gallon uh, round town it'll do 90 miles per gallon when you're off road it'll do 90 miles per gallon or it'll do a lot of time um, you know it's, it's a really really interesting bike uh, and many people are selling theirs with very low mileage so they obviously made a mistake when they bought it they had an aspiration and a vision of going out each weekend and doing green laning and going off-road and that didn't happen it just didn't happen so they obviously sell it with 300 miles on the road for an extortionate amount of money which they believe they're going to get which is just ridiculous so it is what it is. One of the main problems, so you're gonna to have to spend 1500 quid to get it to something that you might want that is capable of being appropriate off-road. The main things are the front forks, new set of front forks, uh, obviously adjustable you'll need, and uh, the rear, the rear uh, suspension and shock absorber. Um, a new set of tires, because the tires are okay. They are okay, but the cheap tires, cheap knobbly tires, but you'll want something that's a bit more knobblier, yeah, so it can grip all the dirt. So we're looking at 1,500 pound there, 1,500 pound. So that brings the bike up to somewhere in the region of 7,000 pound, assuming you buy it brand new at 5,400 pound. So that's 7,000 pound. For 7,000 pound, you could get potentially a more appropriate bike for doing trail riding or green laning uh, that's got a bit more power and is and is better designed for that kind of environment you know just look at this now yeah, it's got pillion pegs on it uh, this my, my boy's getting on there and look at the suspension it's absolutely flat out in fact it was bottoming out when we were doing this and I know there's a few people from America that are 240 pounds in weight and riding this and saying it's absolutely terrific. That's probably because they've never ridden a motocross bike before or a trials bike before. Yeah, I suspect that most people that would buy this would be better off buying a trials bike, one of the ones that you stand up on, and then join something that's like that, that's, that requires a bit more technical skill and will build your technical skills up. Um, and you'll be able to certainly get one of those for much less than seven thousand pound. It uh, so the uh, please comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you've been one of these people that bought the bike and you've sold it straight away, why did you sell it straight away? What was wrong with it? What was wrong with this bike? Hope you found this useful. Leave comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye bye.